Mr. Healy, directed by Stephen Moberly, written by James Harvey. By special request of the mayor of Yeehaw Junction, I was attempting to set the record for fastest delivery on the Pony Express. I had been riding for two days, four hours, 56 minutes, and 31 seconds. But I only had a few more seconds to make it. Almost there. <laughs> Made it! Woohoo! Actually. I had just gotten off my bus from school and said goodbye to Mateo, my bus driver. Bye, Mateo! I saw my tire waiting for me outside my parents' hotel. Don't worry, tire. I made it in time, didn't I? <laughs> Come on, Feather Duster. Come on, Tire. Let's go see my parents. Hi, Ellen. How was school today? It was great. Today I set the speed record delivering mail all along the western route of the Pony Express. That's nice, honey. I had to go all the way across the desert through the canyons, and around a cactus, and it was really spiky. I made it just in the nick of time. Uh-huh. Uh, that sounds like fun. Wow! Those rocks are really, really shiny. They're crystals. To make them this shiny, you have to clean them first. Would you like to clean some? Sure. <laughs> Guys! You guys, the telephone is ringing. Yes, the elephant is singing. <laughs> no, Dad. Mom said the phone is ringing. Right. Uh, that's what I meant. Hello? Yes? Really? I see. Okay, yes, the room will be ready. That was Mr. Healy, and he said he's arriving early, but his room isn't clean yet, and we don't have much time before he gets here. Can't we just give him another room this time? Well, he's our best customer, and you know he loves the views from room 238. He won't like just any other room. We have to get 238 cleaned in time. I can help, Mom. Great. Thanks, Ellen. Connie is cleaning there now. Can you carry this bucket of soapy water up to Connie in room 238 while I get the sheets from the laundry room? Sure, Mom. I can do it. I had just stumbled upon the mystical ruby force. It was so much shinier than any force I had ever seen in my whole entire life. Horse, rubies and emeralds weren't found underground. They grew out of the ground like beautiful flowers. I also had my sparkling magic crystal wand with me. Thank you. 
really heavy. I didn't know if I could lift the gems all by myself through the forest. Luckily, Prince Arkin came to my rescue. Allow me, my lady. <laughs> Actually... Here we are, Ellen. Cooter helped me carry the really heavy bucket to the room. Thanks, Cooter. Sure thing, little Ellen. My goodness gracious. It's like a whole family of tornadoes slept in here. But tornadoes don't sleep in hotels, Connie. Well, if they did, this is how they would leave the room. I brought you a bucket of really sudsy water. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, no. What's the matter, Connie? Oh, this old rag just isn't cutting the mustard. How are we going to make this room sparkle? We need the super duper shine sponge. I can get it. That would be great, dear. I think it's in the laundry room. That's Mr. Healy's car. He's here already? Don't worry. I'll find the super duper shine sponge. I don't know if we have enough time. I'll hurry as fast as I can, Connie. I was off to find the sponge all the way down in the laundry room, but I had to hurry. There I was, hundreds of feet below the surface of the earth, deep in the crystal mine. would reach the very deepest part to find the very rare glowing crystals. Now I just needed to get one of my own. There it was! Uh, if only I could reach it so high. to reach the super shiny crystal. Actually... I stood on my tippy toes and stretched way out and just barely reached the sponge. But I still had to hurry before Mr. Healy made it to the room. Welcome to your room, Mr. Healy. We were just doing some last-minute touch-ups here. Very, very nice. My favorite room looks beautiful. Phew! <sighs> Thank you. Well, you'll be as comfortable as a bed bug in a mattress factory. <laughs> Ew! That sounds icky. Well, I better get some rest for these weary eyes. Thanks, ladies. Good work, Ellen. You did a great job. Thanks! It was an exciting day. 
I was a rider on the Pony Express. Then I traveled through the wonderful ruby forest. Next, I mined for crystals underground. And because we cleaned the room in time, Connie awarded me the All-County Speed Cleaning Medal. Actually... We were all having a delicious dinner. After I ate my whole meal and all of my veggies, I had an extra delicious pillow mint that Connie gave to me for helping her out. It was really, really delicious. Actually... Actually, it was. 